Welcome back guys. We're going to do a quick video on difference. Seeing a lot of questions about it in some groups that I'm in. It's a really great tool for ink stitch because with difference you can cut away layers so that you're not doing a lot of layers of fill stitch on top of each other. The very first project, well one of the first projects I ever did using ink stitch, I broke a needle because I had too many fill stitch layers on top of each other. So to avoid that we're going to use difference it's going to be your friend so to get started i'm just going to make a quick shape there's a quick shape make a quick another shape there's another quick shape hit that with a different color so we can see it so i'm going to use difference what difference does is you select a layer on top an object layer so this purple is this object layer and the blue is this object layer you select the layer on top, you, you multi-select a layer underneath it, and difference will cut away the above layer from the layer below. The layer above will be gone completely. So just real quick to show you, I'm going to use shift and I'm going to click this other shape here, path, difference. Just like that. So now we have a cutaway. That was the shape that was there. It doesn't matter which direction you click in. I'm going to click the blue one first. I'm going to push shift to multi-select that top one. The top one will be cut away from the one below it. So it doesn't matter which direction. It matters which layer it is in your objects panel. To get to your objects panel from your menu, object, objects. So that cutaway would stitch. Another thing you can do is you can make designs that are something like this. I'm going to select the layer behind it. I'm going to line it up according to last selected. And then while they're both selected, I'm going to go ahead and do a difference. Now this right here would not stitch. Because using difference, I made two separate objects, but that those two separate separate objects are in one object layer. So I would have to break that apart with extensions, ink stitch, fill tools, break apart objects. That would become two layers and then it would stitch. And you can run a troubleshoot and it'll tell you the same thing. So a recent piece of work that I got handed to me from my wife was just to do a cutaway on a little tooth design. And it was super simple. Come in here, do your cutaway. Need a different color so we can see it. She wanted a cutaway that was on the inside. Now I'm going to multi-select the tooth layer. I'm going to line that up from last selected to the sides. And while it's multi-selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit difference. Now with this, I handed this actually. Okay, I wasn't done yet with what I gave her. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I gave her. And then I'm going to duplicate that in that duplicate layer. Uh, no fill. Do a stroke. Stroke. Style. I did a 3. 3.1 3 will work just fine. And then I turned that into, I need to break apart, do a break apart from Inkscape's break apart. Now I have two layers there and then turn that into a satin, convert line to satin. And that's basically what I gave her. She wanted a tooth with the cutout. She didn't tell me satin stitch, but I thought it looked a lot nicer. She did too after she saw it. And then she can put letters in here for monograms for um, a dental group that is in current talk, talks with her. So I believe that's being done. But, you know, I used difference to cut that out and it looked really nice. We'll get rid of all that. 
Okay, go back into my example here. I've got that example. I'm going to make another example. Uh, give me a fill. Give me no stroke. Give me four corners. Okay. Let's go with that. So, if you only select one object and try to do a difference, it won't work because you're not trying to do a difference against something. I am going to select the very bottom layer and control shift or control click this triangle path. Now I can do a difference and it's going to skip the one in the middle because I didn't select it. It's only going to do it on the one below it, right there. Get rid of that, I can get rid of that. Now, another thing to note, if you want the object to stay, you'll have to duplicate it because it, it does make it go away. So you can duplicate it and it doesn't matter which one of these duplicates that you use, you can use either one of them to cut away from the layer underneath difference. So now I have a cutaway and my original is right in place. Now you can do a design there and it doesn't matter how many times you do it. So now I'll have these two. I will actually have to duplicate it. If I wanted this object to stay, I'd have to duplicate it and then difference duplicate it again and then difference on that other path so now it has both of those cut away okay so another thing that's pretty neat about difference is let's make a text come in here and make it a big fat bold make it bigger drop it down okay so right now we have just pure text we haven't done anything with it yet I'm going to select the background I'm going to hit path and difference so I have a nice little cutout now, if I wanted that to be bigger, it's a little more complicated. I'm going to select that, and we want path effects. Problem is, that Linux word is not a path. So we need to go into path and do an object to path. Now that it's a path, we can do an offset. We can make it fatter. But now it's no longer an object. It's only a path. So... If you try to do a difference on that, it's not going to work because it's no longer an object. However, you can, I'm going to select all of these letters and I'm going to go to path, combine. I'm going to select that. I'm going to go object, pop out of group. I'm going to delete that because it's no longer necessary. I have a path and I have another path. We're going to do path difference. A little bit more to it if you're going to try to make it fatter like that. Nice effect though. You could, uh, you could do a satin stitch around that if you wanted to. And the satin stitch would be on the inside too. Just a nice little cutout, whatever you wanted to do. So along that same notion, if you have multiple little objects, uh, make it more visible. Okay, that'll make it more visible. But now I'm just going to do a whole bunch of these. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. I'm not sure how many I got. Okay, so if I want to do a cutaway 
of all of these, I can do them all at once by selecting them all, going path, combine. Now they, that turns them into one path. And then I can select the underneath path, do a path difference, just like I did with the lettering a minute ago. That's how you can do multiple cutaways. I'm going to show you one more in this kind of the same vein. If we're doing a, say we're doing a flag or something like that. I'm going to make a star. Don't want rounded. Need more of a star. There we go. So we're going to do something like this. Duplicate it. Undo, get it to go straight, duplicate, straight, duplicate, straight, duplicate, come down here. Okay, so you've got these, you want to stitch it out. You want the, you don't want these stars to show up, you don't want these stars to be uh, fill stitched over fill stitch. The neat thing is you can go in here, select all of them, and then hit Control D. That duplicates all of them. And then now your duplicates are highlighted. You can hit Path and Combine. That makes one path. I'm going to select the underlying main path and do a difference. So just like that, we have them all cut away. And all of our stars, oops, wrong button. All of our stars are in place, just like that. Handy, handy. Just keep in mind and just remember that if you want your overlay shape to remain, you have to duplicate it and then use one of those duplicates to do the difference. Uh, that's, that's the biggest thing. And if something, if it doesn't do something that you wanted it to do, just undo. Control Z or edit undo. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.